guys welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video hope you guys are having a great day today today's video is on a foundation and concealer we are going to check out the new laura mercier real flawless weightless perfecting foundation and the concealer as well i'm going to show you how it looks on my skin tone and what are my thoughts on this so if you are interested please continue watching okay let's get started i'm going to show you the application right away i will apply the foundation on this side of the face and also the concealer and you can see how the foundation looks on my skin tone i do have natural light on as in i'm filming in natural lighting so you can see how this foundation looks in natural lighting although i do prefer to film in studio lights because i can control the lighting better and there is not much fluctuations i'm also filming in auto mode and not manual mode so there may be fluctuations lights but some people do like to see foundations in natural lighting so i will film this portion of the video in natural lighting let's start this is the shade 4 n 2 t let's apply i'll take a tiny tiny dot not too much we'll take one pump so this is one pump you can see the foundation is liquidy but it's not too runny this is how the condition uh <laughs> this is how the consistency is of the foundation and it's not too thick also so it's somewhere in the middle and the shade match just wait for the magic i'll just apply a little bit here to show you how the shade looks like on me look at that the shade is such a perfect match for me for reference if you are new here i'm in mac nc44 and that's the shade i use and that's how 4N2T looks on me. I am super, super happy with the shade match. The foundation is also very lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy. So I'm now using a foundation brush and I'll apply it all over. So that was one pump. It's a very medium coverage foundation. So it doesn't really give a lot of coverage. It will give you a light to medium coverage. You can build it up. So that's one pump almost gone. And I could just cover here. Let me take a little bit more, maybe a generous pump. So the foundation has a tendency to get like a little bit streaky uh, when you apply it first. So just make sure that you're blending out the foundation. I have used this brush with many other foundations. So I don't really blame the brush. Probably the consistency of the foundation is such. It gets a little bit streaky. So just make sure you're blending it well the coverage is just so beautiful very natural looking and perfect for every day doesn't look too much it gives a nice coverage you feel like you have evened out your skin tone and it just looks beautiful look at the finish doesn't it almost feel like it has a blurring effect i mean it matches everywhere very nicely so that's how the foundation looks on me on this side of the face look at the shade match look at the finish very lightweight love it now let me apply some concealer so concealer also i have the same one from the same range i got the shade 4 and 1 didn't get 4 and 2 because i wanted the concealer to be a little bit lighter for highlighting underneath the eyes okay so let's apply the concealer we'll talk about the concealer and the packaging and everything in the later part of the video i'll just apply a little bit here that's it concealer texture is also like not too thick very nice medium coverage concealer and this is where i'm blending it out i blend out here as well and a few dots are here it's not like a light coverage concealer you get a nice amount of coverage with the concealer also there is a little bit of streakiness i think it's just because of the formula it's like that and the foundation also it doesn't really set so i'll talk about all of that in the video so you do have to powder up and that's the concealer i think the shade match for the concealer is also amazing it gives a nice highlighted look near the eye area and it's not too light as well and but it's not deep there is a slight variation from the foundation shade can apply it here also a little bit the excess and i haven't really watched any reviews on this foundation i just saw on instagram that people are using this foundation and i've always wanted to try laura mercier products uh, and uh, this one seemed like a lot of people were using it and i saw good reviews on sephora 
so i ordered it and the shade was also matched based on sephora foundation matcher i think it has done a great job in the shade match i mean it matches me perfectly the foundation has a slight neutral undertone as well uh, so it's not too warm so i think that's why it has matched me well and uh, so far so good i think i really like the consistency the texture look how glowy the foundation is it's a tiny bit like oily also it's not uh, set on the face it will not set so you have to apply powder okay so that's how the foundation and the concealer looks on me let's apply some powder so for powder i have the laura mercier translucent setting powder it's so funny i was just thinking that wish i had that laura mercier powder foundation or some of the baked powder i think they have one which is really uh, popular and it was so funny i was thinking that wish i had the laura mercier setting powder i would have used it in today's video to set the uh, foundation but then i realized i do have the laura mercier setting powder it was so funny i completely like it just popped out of my brain that i do have the laura mercier the very iconic translucent setting powder what happened to me i don't know uh, but i can use this one to set my face so let's apply underneath the eyes you have to have to have to use the powder to set your foundation and concealer there's no two way about it it's it's not going to look good if you are not going to set it with powder that's the bottom line okay so that's half of the face set with powder half of the face has the product the foundation concealer and the powder do let me know how you like the finish now let me complete the full face of makeup and let you guys know my final thoughts on this foundation and concealer and here is a close up of the finished makeup look okay guys so this is how the finished makeup look is and i have had this makeup on for about 2 hours now and it really feels weightless it's truly a weightless foundation you don't feel like wearing anything so i really love the feeling of it so this is how the foundation packaging looks like i have not shown you earlier it's a very nice lux packaging and it has a pump on top as well very smooth packaging good pump like the packaging comes in a box like this which is kind of a matte matte velvety kind of finish okay and i have the concealer here which comes in a packaging like this really pretty and i will show you the wand of the concealer i think the wand is really nice little bit different so it has a curve to it and there is a broader end and there's a tip so if you want you can apply quite a lot or if you want you can apply just a little bit the tip is also quite pointy so let's talk about the foundation first let me know what you think of the finish or if you have used it i would love to know your comments for me i personally love the shade match which is very obvious it just feels like second skin it's very weightless and it doesn't take a lot of time to blend out there is a little bit of streakiness as i've already mentioned during the demo so you have to take care that the streakiness is gone but it's very fluid and very liquidy and it blends and spreads very nicely and it's not matte it doesn't feel drying on the skin it doesn't dry down completely so it doesn't feel drying it doesn't feel matte you don't feel any kind of tightness so it's super comfortable to wear it's supposed to be waterproof that i haven't tested out yet uh because it's not a very warm temperature here uh so i haven't really sweat a lot and i haven't tested out with actual water if this foundation is waterproof or not but on the packaging it mentions that it is a waterproof formula not on the packaging actually on the sephora website it mentions that it's a waterproof sweat resistant formula so i have to still test out that but it's a very long wearing formula on the sephora website it mentions that you'll get 12 hour wear i have worn it for 6 7 hours and it continues to look flawless like this it's super beautiful it doesn't crease and since i set it with powder i think it looks and feels flawless uh, for a really long time so i have worn it for 5 or 6 hours and for that amount of time it has performed well so i am totally loving this foundation i have uh, tried to see if there is any oxidization or not there is uh, no oxidization with this foundation on my 
nice skin tone so uh, that's a great thing so it doesn't darken or anything it just stays like this another thing which I would like to mention again is that this foundation will have a very slick feeling on the face kind of like an oily feeling it's not too mattifying or uh, how some foundations have a natural skin like finish it doesn't have that so some people may find and that though some people includes me i don't like the feeling of facial oils on my face i know it's really weird i apply facial oils but i don't like that kind of oily texture on my face but this foundation also has kind of like a dewy too dewy borderline oily slick texture so you have to set it with powder once you're done setting it with powder it's going to look great but that few seconds where you have the foundation on your face i do feel a little bit like we are about that kind of a texture on the face but once it's set the finish is just beautiful i love the finish of this foundation very natural very skin like even the packaging it mentions this is a long wearing foundation which blurs the line between makeup and skin to reveal a healthier looking complexion so this is a buildable coverage foundation uh, i don't think it's you will get a lot of coverage at one go so but you can still build up the coverage a little bit but I am okay with buildable coverage. I usually uh, apply medium coverage foundations which I think looks the best on my skin tone. So that's the foundation which I think I am loving. I will be using it a lot. Uh, let's talk about the concealer now. The concealer I love. Uh, same as the foundation. I will highly recommend. Uh, this this combo is reminding me of the Pat McGrath foundation and the concealer combo which I also really really like. Both the uh, formulas they are so good. Laurel Mercier concealer in the same range is a weightless perfecting concealer. I got the shade 4 and 1 I think I've already mentioned and this is how the concealer shade looks like. If you're close to my skin tone, you can definitely get this shade which will give you a nice highlighting uh, shade underneath the eyes but you can see that it's not too highlighty also. It blends in perfectly. So I think for underneath the eye, this is a good shade match. 4 in 1. This is also very lightweight. I haven't seen it crease as well. And this also has a medium coverage, I would say. Kind of similar to the Pat McGrath concealer. To think of it, I think both of the concealers give... A similar kind of a coverage both are pretty similar both of them give a medium buildable coverage and they are just smooth and flawless under the eyes and once you set the concealer they are there for good so I really really love the concealer as well I think both the products are a hit I will definitely recommend them especially if you have dry skin you can definitely go for this if you have oily skin i think you can try it out first because as i mentioned the texture when you first apply it it's a little bit uh, slick so i am not sure how it will react with oily skin type but on the laura mercier website and sephora website also i think it mentions that oily skin uh, people can also use this just try to use a mattifying blurring primer and a mattifying powder i think i think from what i have seen this should be good for most skin types from the texture and how it sets on the face that's what i feel like so after the foundation and concealer i have set my face with the laura mercier transition setting powder i've already shown you that and i have these laura mercier blushes as well let me quickly show you so i think i have never shown this on the channel so this is the peach blush laura mercier peach blush and uh, this one if you're close to my skin tone i will say don't go for it this one doesn't show up that well so this one i just use like a highlighter on my skin something about the peachiness the color just disappears on my skin and i just get the sheen so it looks a little bit weird so if you're close to my skin tone don't get the peach blush this one is really nice grapefruit which i have used today on my skin tone it's a very punchy grapefruit pink peachy kind of color and this is like super super pigmented and very smooth and glowy so laura mercier blushes these have a slight bit of a sheen to it so if you like glowy blushes this one is a really nice one i've used it today it's really punchy but see you can apply it subtly as well so i really like how versatile these blushes are but uh so far i have just tried this one shade which have uh, which has worked out for me and that's the video guys i hope this was helpful do let me know if you have used this foundation uh, if you have any thoughts or comments then do put that in the comment section below so that other people can also uh, benefit from that 
other than that if you like this video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also if you're watching me for the first time i really hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel thank you so much for watching i'll see you again really soon in my next video bye